Hello and welcome back to another Iron Man episode, episode 41 I believe. We are kicking it off with a little bit of Hunter. After making those extreme Hunter potions, I thought it was about time I did some Hunter. Worked out, I think I need 84 and able to boost up to the Ornates. And there we have 80. Finally we can do 5 traps which will speed this crystal, not crystal, Azor skill jumpers up. So once we get 4 more levels, I don't know why I brought the extreme Hunter potion and I haven't actually used it. I think I just brought it for the sake of it. Got my Arctic Bears, these are helping, and then obviously the full outfit. So now we can do five traps, which is quite nice. Should speed this up, and then uh, yeah, we have four more levels to go. Then we can use these bloody sick potions and get some stupid XP rates. And fingers crossed, we can get a. I think we need a male Chin Chomper or whatever pair we need, whichever gender. Like chin chopper, we need for a breeding pair. That would be very, very nice. So I'm pretty sure this is the first clip of rots that I've actually shown. But we have actually been doing rots with the clam. Um, and yeah, we just got our first shield. Vengeful catcher. That is the range version. I don't really care what style it is at the moment, as long as I've got a T90 shield finally. Instead of using my bane shield plus four, which is like tier. I'm gonna say 79. I can't quite remember. But that is our. Uh, uh, 57th, that's actually not too bad. So, just doing a quick herb run right there, and we got fucking, what, 15 fell stocks from that patch, very nice, but 96 farming. 96 farming. There we go, we're going to finally plant that wishing well bush we have in the bank. Or well, the seed, not the actual bush, the seed obviously grows into a bush. Um, if you're wondering why those herbs were automatically cleaned, if you don't know, I have the Master Farmer's outfit which cleans the herbs as you pick them. I am on the Lunar spells because it just is much more efficient and easier. Obviously it's not as easy for the Godward's Dungeon Teleport. Uh, which one is it? Not Godward's Dungeon Trollheim. Because you need um, Livid Farm. It's like 370k produce and... From buying all the plants from the merchant, I'm up to a whopping 230k, so we're not actually too far off. Um, but yeah, we are just doing fell stores, so I would quite like to make some more renewals because of all the mushrooms I've got in the bank, and then just move on to some other seeds that I sort of need for like maintaining my overloads, probably. But 96 farming, we are three levels off. This is insane. Hopefully, we can still to so 1 mil. 800k, hopefully we can get these two roughly at the same time, that would be kind of nice. It's that time again, we have got a level 12 Noxious Staff, way over level 12 to be honest, sort of missed out on a lot of XP, but there we go, 621k, level 85, doesn't unlock anything for us unfortunately. I am currently attempting to do a solo Elite Dungeons 1, it's not going too well, I have died quite a few times now to the Sanctum Guardian, and not gonna lie, I am potentially about to kill myself because this is getting very triggering. It's just, I don't know, the purple smoke, I don't understand how you're meant to handle it or unless you're a bladed die, which I do, and even then it's a fucking challenge. After many attempts of Masuta, the second boss in Elite Dungeons 1, I just gave up because I died that many times. It's so hard, he combos you out so easily, um, even with Devotion and Debilitate, but we have just done the story mode. We have just done it literally one inventory very easily, and uh, now hopefully I can unlock Elite Dungeon 2. I'm not sure how I, if I, there's any way to check if I can open it unless I just go, so we'll have a look. Because I have heard it is much more enjoyable, much more money, and I would just quite like to test it out. How I go again, the codex is, I think it does look quite nice. So we'll give that a go on the normal mode and see how it If you didn't know by the way, mining concentrated gold ore is probably even better now. It is quite fast and you mine sets of 5 instead of 1 so if you're doing, well for Iron Man trying to get Rings of Slayer you need obviously gold bars. Getting gold ore is quite nice now and obviously you just smelt it into the bars. You can store the bars into a furnace and take your gems straight there. So that is a daily challenge complete and we should be able to get the minor level of 85. Now I'm going to go back to Bane or well I'll double check how much we've got. Um, first and then see if we have enough to make a full set, 17k, that was so fast, my Ben I, oh, can store more, very nice, um, where's my Ben, 331, I think we need 192 bars for a full Ben burial set, so 384 Ben 
Right, we're not too far off then. Second kill of the trip, the first kill was no loot, so I decided to just ignore it. 12, seven on brews. That is what we like to see. I am running quite low on brews. I haven't really got any bird nests in the bank, so I'm gonna have to go out to Armadil or attempt Telos because I'm pretty sure Telos drops them. Uh, just do some like 100% claims or something like that, or 0% claims um, because yeah, we need some brew flasks. And at the moment, we are struggling, so I'm just gonna have to use more sharks than brews. Obviously, this is actually the third kill. It is also past two and three. I don't think I mentioned it in the last clip, uh, and we're obviously doing path two. Onyx Bolt, hell yeah, more of those, even better to top that one off. Can we get a low piece? I would, well, to be honest, I would quite like a hilt because then you're sort of guaranteed a weapon. Oh, what's up there? Oh, that's where those phasma type rock things are. Ah, oh, that's interesting. We're going to have to mine a lot of that if one day we want to make the T92 masterwork armor. That'll be very nice. Another kill down now. Fingers crossed. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it when it doesn't load. And then, obviously, these two load. Oh, my God. So 70kc we got the I. So this is 15 kills later. 17 kills later. Very, very nice. Let's move on to a bit of bottom path then. <laughs> uh, I love this guy. He's from Finland. He gets a bit angry sometimes. Right, so the last time we got a middle leg. Let me just turn the screen for off. We've got middle leg and then we went on to bottom. We called a bottom leg. Is that going to happen again? No. Oh, that guy was in the instance before me. Or axes eye drop. Oh well, bruise and uh, battle stuff, so I'll take it. I think we can squeeze one more kill in and then obviously I'll continue tomorrow. Well, after reset tonight probably. I don't know, depends if I'm still awake. But either way, tomorrow we are going to do six more kills and then obviously until the 2-3 is over it will be 1-3 but holy fuck no way am I doing bottom path on 1-3 I might try some top path maybe top path is best on one past 1 and 2 I'm pretty sure top and middle so I'll have to just wait for that to get back into some top path uh, it is pretty aids and I don't really look forward to it I mean who does apart from some like duo melee kills who I don't know if you've seen some two people managed to get a Kills 1 minute 38 top path Araxor duo. 1 minute 38. Honestly, if you watch it, the health bar goes from 100k to zero in literally like 5 seconds. It's fucking insane. I am getting really good at missing the actual level pop ups, but still, 87 smithing. It's just so AFK, I just sort of forget create burn items at maximum heat. I don't really understand this because. I don't know what that actually means. Can't really be worth finding out. Anyway, we are 87. We are going for 91, which is a whopping 2 mil. Oh, just under 2 mil away. And now with 87, we can use the skill banner boost for half an hour to actually start making some. I think not making, but smelting the corrupted ore we have in the bank because you need 89 for it. So we can boost up, do a bit of that on the tray her now. Let me just check what the Voss is um, okay maybe it's the next one if it's the next one we'll obviously go ahead and use a bit of that get some free XP uh, I'm being very inefficient we have 55% respect and I haven't bought another piece there we go that's our third piece if you didn't know this is where you buy it now instead of having to do the ceremonial swords for it there are these other like three cosmetics to don't buy on this shit unless you really really want to there's a the blacksmith and then for the burial sets you want I think it's this one making a complete set of burial army gives how much XP? 1% 1% so all these will give an extra 5% that, that is fucking that is pretty pretty insane to be honest so I won't lie um, blacksmith's top right let's get back to this and start rambling oh my god so this is very lucky what we've just got. We've got a second Vendral Kite Shield. This is a <laughs> Oh my god, this is our second one. Can we go? We going? What the fuck? At least I might just augment that one and then I don't even know what to do with this one. What 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 can I do with 
two vengeful kite shields now. Literally nothing. That KC was uh, 82. <laughs> 82. So the drop rate is 1 in 80. And we have a two of the same shield. And that was the last kill of the trip. Uh, I would end this clip, but it'll lag me a little bit. And I sort of want to survive getting out. I've only got one piece of food. There we go. Oh my god. Two shields. Bruh. It is indeed a new day, meaning back to Raxor for bottom path. First kill. Okay, we'll take that. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck. We just got the pet. <laughs> if we get a life piece now. Oh my god, bruise, thank god. What the fuck. I don't even have this on my main. 1.4 kkc. Dry. Oh my god. What the fuck. No. Oh my god, I swear to god, this account is too lucky. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> You've got some. Oh, the imbued spider pet now. And now qualify for meta achievements to a lot more skins. Let's just get a screenshot of that. Oh my god, 90kc. What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, I have got the pet called Pete. 90kc who got it, but it, bl it blends in so much with the spiders that spawn, it's, it's actually kind of annoying. Holy shit, seven magic seeds. Fuck me, that's a lot of farming XP. But I might just, yeah, I'm gonna keep this pet, but <laughs> the amount of times I've clicked on it thinking it was one of the spider that spawn, um, I'm probably gonna have to change it in the future. Just for a rack, so, but I don't know, I might just give it another go and try and get used to it, but um, I might have to look into getting the other ones. I, I thought when we got the pet, it was the which uh, Mallory, I think it is, the one with the acid, the actual Araxi looking pet, that's that's the one I'm after, that's the cool looking one. So I did just have a little look into how to unlock the other pets and one of them it says I have to, on phase 2 or 3, I have to let him absorb 100% of the spider, so he absorbed 100% and I don't seem to have unlocked it. Uh, Unless it's just sort of in here. No, I didn't unlock the skin. I don't get it. I I don't know. Maybe I need to get another egg. I'm I'm not too sure, but uh, I guess I'll have to have a proper look on the wiki for it. Because in order to get Barry and Mallory, it's one in five hundred drop rate. But to, in order to get the one in five hundred, you need to have all the six skins. And these skins are where's a Rexor collection? Yeah, so we've we've got Pete. There's one, two, yeah. There's not six there. There's yeah, there's six. What am I on about? I was trying to unlock, I think, Bill. And it says, obviously, I have to um, let it as always. I'm so confused. I need to have another look at this. Oh, we sort of just caught the last little moment there of the level but we have just hit 97 farming very, very nice uh, two more levels to go and then we are 99 farming pretty much all from player on farms and just magic seeds we get from pvm right so i've tried to do this again now it's still bottom path for raxor and there's a kill where you have to let him absorb 100% of the adrenaline on adrenaline 100% of the acid so I've asked and apparently you just don't lure any of them on P3 so when you go into P4 he zones more and you kill him. But I haven't got the skin again. I don't understand. I'm on, I'm on, I don't know if I'm missing something maybe. Uh, I think the, the one I'm after is called Bill. So unless I have to... I'm so confused I really don't understand how to do this one. Right so I eventually figured out how to do it. It turns out when you phase him into phase when you phase him into phase 4 where you actually fight Araxi he absorbs 50% of the acid I thought he absorbed all the acid that 
you obviously didn't law, but it does in two stages, so basically you just have to kill them a little bit slower. Thank God we got some brews. We are literally so close to running out now, it's scary. Um, but yeah, we got the... I'm pretty sure it's Bill. Uh, oh, it doesn't say the name, it just says the... I don't know, challenge one. Uh, yeah, we'll override this one. I'm, I'm guessing that would be a little bit easier to see, I guess. Well, what a way to start. Uh, phase 4 we have just hit 98 range and before I uh, most likely die while recording this I am going to uh, end <laughs> if I can just press it now the start of top pass pass 1 and 3 holy shit that's a lot of onyx bolts this is another spider pet skin unlocked the pulsing spider took quite a while obviously uh, you, you don't hit rex on phase 1 and 2 so once you get to path 3 you have a lot of HP to deal with plus all the specials and all the spiders so it does hurt a little bit to stay quite a while. Uh, Hydric's bolt tips on that one. I am trying to unlock the mirror back one Gavin because path 1 is open but it's quite hard to do I'm not going to lie. You have to get him under 1500 HP on phases 2 or 3. Then when a mirror back spawns obviously the damage you do on the mirror back reflects to Rex or 3k damage will kill him down to zero obviously but keeping him under 1500 and then waiting for the mirror back to spawn is quite difficult not not gonna lie the amount of times I've accidentally killed him or the mirror back just hasn't spawned or I don't know I'm gonna try it again now so fingers crossed I can get this one done and then move on to the simple style ones oh my god we literally had no supplies or aura ran out that was such a long kill to be honest I even put vampirism on because I was that low on food I was scared but we've actually managed to get the mirror back pet I was about to phase it into phase 3 and then I saw the mirror back I don't know I think it spawns one if you need it that badly um, but yeah it spawned one and uh, we just obviously got it uh, what was it it's not snipe what's this one called again snapshot 3k and then I killed it and then I thought oh <laughs> what are the chances we've actually just made it thank god but we have now got a few more skins I need to do a mage kill a melee kill and there is another pet I can't think how you get it now I'll check it on the wiki but we have got no wait we've got four yes we've got to do a mage and a range and then we've got all six of these skins and then that is it we can start going for the other two pets. We have a chance for the other one, so that is mainly why I'm doing this for the skins. It is kind of kind of interesting, makes the kill a little bit a little bit different. You have to look at it in a different way, but the mirror back one that was pretty annoying to do. Not gone. back with another Trahern and Owl. We have just boosted up with the banner and hit 88 Smithing Heat Cap of Bane. Rain. I don't understand what that one actually means, but we have 866 left, 198, well 197 point something every single time with the three outfits this is level 10 now because I would disassemble but I'm, I'm sort of intrigued to see how much XP you get from level 12 from one of these things and uh, I'm pretty sure I have the means to get it to level 12 so yeah we're just gonna see how that goes and I am doing a bit of mining so we are close to 86 I'm gonna try and mine at least a three full sets of burial armor for Baynor and then head over to Arsenal workshop and uh, yeah that's gonna be three full sets of Burial Bane all we can do at once. Just before reset I thought I'd quickly get a very nice zero and rage magic kill. Mainly for the where is it? The bladed spider pet. Oh we also finished the reaper assignment. Very nice, two birds with one stone. Um which one what's his name? Bladed spider. Oh that's just the melee one. So now I've got one more skin which is to get a melee kill and at the moment our best melee weapon is a sun spear but we can get the bane two handed sword which will be tier 79 if it's fully upgraded so there is that oh my god no charms for once well um, more onyx bolts for the alchemizer but i am thinking about maybe trying to quickly get up to 90 smithing and then getting the attuned crystal halberd which is a tier 80 weapon we could probably do a melee kill with that and then get the last skin so we have a chance for the barry and mallory pet some two more smithing levels apparently i can't boost up because that's what i was hoping to do but yeah apparently we can't do that so i'll just get 90 smithing use a 
Continuing to Crystal Halberd, I can always revert it for the Crystal Bow in the future, if any of you know the method where for Legion keys, the Capri Savage, you use a attuned Crystal Bow and it's just nice to have anyway. So that is going to be the plan for the future. For now, I'm just going to go for Nighty Smithing and uh, hopefully get that last skin unlocked before the end of this video. So we've just been doing a full raid and, well, the base tank <laughs> decided to finish that Yakumaru and... Uh, Slap was with a 99 Hunter and Max, so uh, congrats to him. Uh, I don't think that's a double. Right, so let's get check the loot. Come on. There's so many Max, we're going to get some RNG. Okay, never mind. He also got Codex. No way. Oh my god, there we go. Acto gloves. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. And then we can also reset and go for another full raid tomorrow, technically. Um, so that is also very nice. We are going to go ahead and go back to uh, Artisan Workshop. We have got some more smithing to do, but first I would quite like to, where is it, get my Hammertron. It is level 12, way over level 12, like 3k. Let's disassemble. What level 12 is the same XP as level 10? For goodness <laughs> fuck sake, I've just lost a lot of weapon XP, not weapon XP, tool XP for nothing then that's just brilliant right I'll make uh, a few more hammer charms I would quite like to get the crystal hammer but I haven't got a tool seed I don't think yeah I don't have any tool seeds unfortunately I do need to go and stick all these mushrooms in my player owned farms and then we're going back to Austin workshop to finish off more of the Bane burial sets that we have on the go so time again for another full raid also got a new personal record at Beastmaster, so fingers crossed for Yakumaru, re-roll that. Nothing this time, Beastmaster Actor again. <laughs> okay, we did get the Actor last night, so I wasn't really expecting anything from this time. But we are going to head back to Arsenal Workshop now and finish off, where is it, the full set of burial that we do have here. Got everything plus four, we are about to hit 90 smithing, meaning that I can go and get a free attuned crystal seed and then we'll do the Araxor kill with melee get the last skin and then that means we have the chance to get the Barry and Mallory pet which is very nice haven't even done it on my main account because I've been so unlucky on the pet so it will be quite nice to do it on the Iron Man um, so yeah let's go back to Arsenal Workshop and hit 90 Smith and for once we are actually not missing the level we've got it as soon as we hit 90 there we go Elder Rune Smelting and Smithing I think Wait, I can start this now, can't I? Because I've got the 2.3k rune ore that was in my bank in the forge thing. I just need to mine. Uh, I think it's. Oh no, wait, no, I can't. I can't. Can I? Hang on. Let, let me just. Uh, no, I need to furnace. Not too sure. Room. Elder rune bars. Oh yeah, that's it. I need light on him. Anamika and Dark Anamika or whatever, Anamika you want to call it, which is 90 mining. I was thinking about Rune or we need this, the Luminite. Yeah, we don't have much of that. So I was calculating for 90 to 99 smithing, I need to make, first. I need over 13, it's 13.8 thousand Elder Rune bars. So that's a lot of Rune I need to mine, a lot of Luminite, a lot of Dark Anamika or whatever, and the Light Virgin. But hopefully that will get me to 99 mining in the process. Uh, we did just click off there, I can't think what else was at 90, let's just have a little quick look. Uh, Tetsu, Superior Tetsu, probably won't make that a tuned crystal weaponry, shield, Elder Rune Burial Armor, some old Dragonfire Shield, never mind, we already used that for the Bane Shield. Okay, that's quite nice, we can uh, go ahead now and get the free attuned weapon seed from, I think, I can't think what her name is, is it Lady Ifel? But yeah, we'll get that once we finish this burial set and then get on with our melee Araxor kill and get the last skin, meaning that we can get Barry and Mallory. Uh, we'll have to do top path because it is still paths 1 and 3, but for 0 and rage it shouldn't be too much too much difficulty anyway. And there we go, that is, well that was quite a difficult melee kill, obviously tier 80 is not the strongest and we don't really have the best melee gear, we've only got Bandos, Bane, Plate Body probably helped out quite a bit. But we have unlocked the last spider. I can't remember what it's called. Is it Dave? No. Oh, I think it's Steve. Yeah, I think Steve's the melee one because I have the green tips. So that is all six of the skins unlocked. 
what we're gonna get some herbs uh, and that's all right I guess turn that prayer off and I think with that this episode is long enough and we have done quite a lot of goals we've got 90 smithing and we have unlocked all six of the Araxal skins so we'll just show my stats on screen now you can compare them to the stats at the end of the last episode we are nearing a few 99's 99 farming is on the it's on track now 99 divination not too far away well with catches alone okay 2.5 mil that is quite far away to be honest it's quite a few maybe almost two weeks 99 range is probably gonna just come passively but 90 smithing that means we do unlock another member of ports I think I think it's the, is it the Tengu we unlock I'm not sure if that's divination or no I think divination is the memory so yeah we unlock the Tengu which is quite nice I am going to revert this seed into I was going to do it into a wand because the only good one we have at the minute is blisterwood but I don't use a wand too much to need to so I might just might make it into a bow at the minute because I think we're going to use that in the future anyway so I may as well just keep it as a bow and then in the next episode we will just continue doing even more Raxor and uh, working on 99 farming, 99 domination getting that 99 range and of course Slayer it's about time we finally get back into it I am done with mining and smithing for a short while I will do it when I am AFKing because I do need to hit 93 smithing or 91 and then I can boost up to make the malevolence set so that is going to be my goal in the future get that malevolence set made, augment it and then just stick it in the bank for when we ever need it for I don't know melee or axe or when we do get the scythe at some point in the future so just want to get it made and out of the way and then we can continue with rocks whenever we can I am thinking like once we do get 99 slay and we get enough charms I do have quite a lot of supplies now rune mana tours obviously are quite easy to gather the rune bars and then I have got quite a lot of water talismans now from raids and Araxor so Pakiak not too far away maybe in the near future don't forget I'll do it in the next episode it will be a few more down the road but we are getting quite nice gains in now we are very close to a lot of invention XP as well I mean we have got quite a lot of stuff very near level 10 or level 12 so I think we need 90 in order to make the look of the dwarves so once we get 90 and I can boost to make an now chemical onyx I'm gonna make two one for grace of the elves and one for the look of the dwarves so expect an episode filled with clue squirrels we do need a lot more fortunate components so thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one